What's up? They have a little grill up here. And, oh, actually, down here. So tonight we'll grill a little chicken out on the fire. Oh, nice. And look at this view. We have our own private beach. The water is like cold, but it's crystal clear. I would say we found a campsite. Lots of solar. Dude, you better take a walk here, buddy. Look at this. Wow. This is amazing. And when you got a view like this, sometimes you pay a little more. What was this one, Kurt, for both of us? Uh, 20000 so a little less than 20 bucks, Or a little more. Oh. And it's definitely salt water. I smell it. We'll have to keep an eye out for dolphins since we only got a little tiny baby glimpse of them at the last camp. We are enjoying this sunshine. I'm going to bring a little bit of it inside the van. When the sun's out bright, we always like to hang out the towels and get them good and dry. Kurt is back there at his shaving station, which is on the garage. G seems to be fascinated with what's going on back there. Got firewood. And wait till you see what I got Kurt. Hold on. Fire poker. Kurt likes to poke fires. We needed to document this because this is like seeing a Sasquatch. Are you calling me a Sasquatch? Nope. I'm saying it's just a rare sighting to see you hauling firewood. <laughs> I'm done. Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. What are you doing, pumpkin? What are you doing? I'm like a river. What are you doing? Flood. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. But I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on? We are going to make an attempt at a campfire. And look who's all clean shaven. On the beach with the stars as our lighter and throw our problems in the Got a little fire. Can we turn it into a big fire? A little stick fire. Man, I walked a circle around the van to close up the doors. I come back to a roaring fire. <laughs> I've been building a fire, playing with fire for quite some time. In my life. <laughs> I'm a long time pyro. <laughs> Kurt has gone for some medium sized twigs and sticks. Getting a nice base going to this thing. No bad thoughts penetrate. Past several days it's been raining here, so our wood is damp. Now the small twigs seem to go pretty good, but we have to get a few of these bigger chunks dry it out. We're trying a drying method. <laughs> Think it's gonna work, Kurt? A lot, of hot air. <laughs> a lot of hot air coming from Kirk, keeping the fire going. But I think we might have it. It's just a matter if we can get some of these bigger chunks on there and get it hot enough to cook with. Progress update. How you feeling about our chances of getting this cookable, Kirk? Oh, it's almost there. <laughs> it's almost there. I'm an old fiber. <laughs> Thing. One line, it's been going ever since. Throw our 
Well, we see I better would, but we'll make it work. We did it. We got a fire hot enough to cook on. Gonna have some grilled chicken. Maybe some peppers. Can I get some comfort, please? And onions. All right, chicken and a red pepper going on. And he brought out a pack of seasoning of some sort. I loaded it up with some garlic. Oh, I see it on there. So I was chatting with one of our camping neighbors that is from France, very close to the border of Spain. We just got a lovely invite to park on their farm when we get over there. Farm stay. But Kurt has chicken, a red pepper, a sweet potato, zucchini, and onion cooking up nicely. Appetizer is up. Crispy onion petals. Tasty. Kurt better hurry or he won't get any more. <laughs> Grilled onion petals. So tasty. All right, sweet potatoes drizzled with a balsamic reduction, hot off the fire. Very, very tasty. We're not waiting for anything. As it comes off the grill, it goes in our tummies. Yes, it does. We have plenty of new friends, these dogs and these cats. We were cooking the chicken outside and they uh, did not hesitate to clean up the bones. But the sun is going down. It has been a beautiful day, a wonderful camp spot. Tomorrow we are scheduled to go to some kind of aguas termale, some kind of hot spring. So I'm pretty stoked about that. It has been a lazy morning in the van, which is nice every once in a while. Coffee is made. Yay. <laughs> Gee, you want some coffee? No. Yeah, he's going to have some coffee with me. <laughs> we have something very cool, or maybe the opposite of cool, and exciting planned for the day. But we don't have to be there for like another hour. So the lazy morning has been nice. We've had coffee. I had my daily morning oatmeal with walnuts, dried cranberries. And this morning I had apples. I prefer blueberries, but we haven't been able to find them down here. But breakfast is over. It's time to start stirring. It's time to leave this peaceful waterfront camp. Like that we are back on the Carretera Austral northbound but we only have to go about five miles to our next stop so my kind of day yeah not a lot of driving and a lot of relaxing this morning 
we're going to a hot springs. Now, first of all, I know, I know, everybody thinks the hot springs are bad for my heart. But my doctor actually says a little bit of hot springs is okay. So I just have to make sure I don't get too hot. He actually says getting in the cold water would be a lot worse for me because it would constrict my blood vessels. He's cool with some hot spring action. Don't worry, we asked. So we're headed into this hot springs. It's supposed to be amazing, but we're waiting on Kurt. And you have to make a reservation at this place and you get a time slot. So while he's getting dressed, I'm going to head on in and get us paid and everything. We don't want to miss any of our time slot at this hot springs. Oh, this place is pretty, guys. Look at the landscaping. It's gorgeous. All right, let's pick us out a pool. They're different temperatures, Kurt, the pools. Well, we're the first ones out here, I think. There might be another. Nope, there's some people. All right. You want to get the one under the shelter? Okay. What do you think? I think we should get the one that's the least hot. All right, you'd stick your feet in them. All right, we're picking out the least hot one to keep Dr. Arias happy. I think that might be... Oh, how do they feel? Feels good. Oh, nice. Look at this view, too, guys. This place normally has four pools, one big one and three little ones. For some reason today, the big one wasn't full, so it was a little crowded. It's nice and cool though. Yeah. The sun's out, and so you can get in these warm waters, this hot water, and just, then when you want to cool down, just stick half out of it and you're good. So yeah. you can control the temperature perfect, which for Snow's heart condition was definitely yeah. good. Yeah, and it was a very nice, we were probably here hour, hour and a half, very relaxing. Took time. advantage of the hot showers as we left. One last peek at this view. We're headed to the van. Norte. As Norte. They say. We are Norte bound. Look at those giant leaves, Kurt. No shade. Snow's gonna take up knitting, guys. No, I'm not. Is this wool? I don't know. Kurt pointed something out when I was just walking up some stairs. Man, I'm glad I got my knee surgery done before this heart problem hit us. I got no problem with stairs. My knee is as close to 100% as it could be. And that's good, right, Kurt? <laughs> oh, Actually, that's a big win. Yeah. Woo, Terra Terra Estral, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So we have made it to the little village of Puyape, which is on the very north end of this ford that we've been following along. We found us a little parking place right down here by the fishing boats. And now we are headed to get some lunch. Maybe you can get some fish, Kurt. <laughs> so we stumbled up on a pretty interesting restaurant, didn't we, Kurt? <laughs> they had this little bowl, it's called Puye, and it's little teeny tiny like minnows, and they prepare them in a garlic sauce and a pepper sauce and a chili sauce. It's a whole bowl of them. A whole bowl of them, like eyeballs and everything. So, and it's like, a specialty here, but I was afraid, so I didn't get them. <laughs> I did get the salmon, it's wild here. And Snow, what'd you get? I got a honey chicken with some German mashed potatoes, but we do have a king crab cake coming out as an appetizer. So we stumbled up into a pretty yummy looking restaurant, so we're doing a little splurge. This is definitely a little, this is definitely a little fishing village. Now, this is king crab here, king crab. King crab cake. 
So I don't know if it's fresh caught or it's caught down further south, but there's definitely some deep water fjords here. Yeah. In our last camping spot, we saw some crab traps. Yeah. I don't know how local caught it is. Well, I think we're in for a yummy little local lunch that's probably going to be big <laughs> enough to be dinner too. So anyway, it was a really good restaurant. What did you think of your salmon? The salmon was delicious. It was probably some of the best salmon I ever had. Definitely by far the best restaurant to date in Chile. It was really good food. The food, food here has been kind of like right down the middle. Sign of kind of normal, not exciting food. That was exciting food. It was good. Good, good, good. My chicken was yummy. My mashed potatoes were yummy. Even my latte at the end was yummy. Everything. The rolls with the little... Uh, corn the mote salsa uh what they bring us out next oh that king crab casserole oh the king oh, crab casserole yes the dessert the little lemon torch oh. <laughs> it was all good but now we're going to walk back to the van but we're going to take you through the little town square oh yeah All right, we were out here watching these kids fish. I came out and asked them if they ever caught any fish. And they said they catch some big ones. And he definitely just caught a little small one. If nothing else, I'll give him some more bait. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. So I was over there with the big camera out having a blast. All the birds going by, all the boats. <laughs> the tide has dropped considerably. All these boats were floating when we got here. A couple of them are dry. It's always cool to see the tide go in and out and the water changed. Also, you might have noticed it stopped raining at least for a little bit. But what a little, pretty little fishing town up in here. And uh, Van is chilling. My swimsuit, incidentally, did not come clean from my last hot <laughs> spring baths. event from the mud baths. And welcome to van life and trying to dry stuff. Um, <laughs> It's always a struggle, so we're running the heater, and it's cool, so that's okay, but yeah, you're always trying to figure out how to get stuff dry in a van. So we're drying out. Did you guys see the flowers in the background there that snow picked the other day? Pretty Those are a nice little, nice little addition to the van. As we're driving north, we keep going through small little village-type towns, 
there's not a lot of people down here but when you go through those towns they each have their own character that was la junta and as we were leaving the town you come up with no notice to a giant one-way bridge <laughs> so we're pretty lucky nobody was coming because we zoomed right out onto that thing well it doesn't help that there's so much stunning scenery to look around at. you know yeah so. yeah you're always looking around you got to concentrate on the fact that you're driving because it's so pretty down here but um all right we keep going northbound so we've pulled off at a little side of the road stop that has a little lookout over the river we've been seeing this river all along but we've never been able to stop and get you a shot of it it's not going to be a great view here but it's still pretty and the color of it is amazing so we wanted to make sure you got to see it also looks over a farm lots of little goats playing down there on the trees i think our little vanna goat would like to be there oh one has big horns It is a rainy day, which I do think is normal through this part of the Caratera. But uh, we did manage to stop and get you some shots of those adorable goats. And the one cool one with his horns. Yeah. It was really nice. Beautiful overlook of a nice farm along here. And there's so many of them, but that one was pretty unique. Yeah. Pull forward. Stop. He's on the side of the road. We had to spin around to get them, but they're just kind of standing here, hanging out. There's four or five of them, and uh, they're just stripping the little seeds off of the top of the grass blades here. And it looks like there's even a teenager amongst them. A couple of things. Number one, there's a lady running around in the road. Actually, that's not number one. Number one is snow is driving. Number two is this is the third little skinny bridge, one laner that we're crossing over. On this one, interesting enough, interestingly enough, you can't even see the other side, so you don't know if somebody's there or not. But the other thing is it has been rainy, misty, low-hanging clouds, overcast, and like as we look down it really makes the greenery pretty everything's kind of got that clean crisp look to it but the lighting's just not so good for videoing and stuff like that but i think as we've said many times this caratera astral has no shortage of beautiful views it's a gloomy rainy day but this beach with its black sand is too beautiful to not get out and show y'all anyway. We're hoping the rain will clear up and we can show you much better in the morning. Ah, oh, just offshore, some seals. Let's see. I can't bring the big camera out, guys. It's just too wet. But look at them. Just beyond the two giant seagulls and the bird, the black bird. Oh, look at them. And when we first pulled in, I actually think we might have a little tiny glimpse. And we were not expecting it at all. 
but we saw a penguin fishing just off the shore of the beach here in front of the van. We'll keep an eye out. We'll just listen to these beautiful waves for a minute. See if we see these seals again. Now they're not on shore. They're not on the rocks. They're swimming. When I just spotted them, they were about 100, 150 feet beyond the little rock island here. Let's see if we can spot them. We have made it to our camp spot. It is another wild camping spot. It has a couple of special features. One being black sand beaches and two being surrounded by beautiful salt water with uh, seals in the background right now swimming. Hold on, let me get the camera. The chili prep is underway and I must say everyone is pretty pleased with our campsite. It is just as beautiful as it's supposed to be. We will hopefully, if it's not raining in the morning, show it to you better, but we've already seen lots of little seals playing. Kurt spotted a glimpse of a penguin, which really, really confused us and made us happy. And uh, hopefully we got him on video. Lots of birds. And believe it or not, the drizzles actually kind of got a nice little effect for this place. So we are gonna button up the van enjoy some chili, do some video editing in this cold rainy weather, snuggle up with our kitties. Guys, snow's out here in the rain climbing on rocks. Well, there are dolphins like 50 feet from the shore. Of course I am. You can't help it. We are not complaining. It's not windy and that is good. But it has been rewarding on this little bay. We even saw a penguin. I think Snow's already told you about all the sea life we've seen. Been able to climb around the rocks and walk on this beautiful black sandy beach. Hoping the sun comes out a little bit. Hoping this is not just a momentary lapse. We'll see. But I have every intention of enjoying it while it lasts.
Look, you can even see this morning, there's the volcano sticking out right there on the ocean. There's actually a few around here. What's up, buddy? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!